both teams shooting well on the Celtics at 54 percent what does this mean for the Pistons to have Parrish out of there knowing that Lee Beer is not 100 percent perhaps well, I wouldn't be surprised to see James Edwards to come in and look to go inside he's their only legitimate post-up player Mikhail Kevin McHale in the lane nine points for McHale he's the top man for the Celtics who regained the lead with five minutes to go in the first Guarded by Bird, who's guarded him throughout. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Dumars going for three and hits it. Joe Dumars has hit six straight and 13 points. What a show opening this game. And we said before, he was playing tentatively, not looking for a shot. Not today, though. And Bird with a nifty pass to Kevin McHale on a Celtic pick and roll, and we're tied at 20. Now does this also change the defensive philosophy for the Celtics because they want to double team down low in the way Dumars is shooting the basketball. Can you afford to leave here or Isaiah? Thomas driving in, scoops it up. Both teams shooting well. And the Celtics and the Pistons in game three. Detroit leading 22 to 20. Their biggest lead with four minutes remaining. McHale. Red hot six for seven from the field for Kevin McHale. Danley double team leaving Dumars open again, and he misses finally after hitting six, including a three point. Well, that's what you do in the playoffs. If someone has the hot hand, you look to get him the ball as much as you can. Speaking of hot hand, Vinnie Johnson gets off the bench for the Pistons. He's been known to have one. Ames settles for three again with another rebound. Thomas, foul against the Celtics. Now Larry Bird will curl around the screen set by Kevin McHale, find the mismatch in the easy two points. The Horn and McHale had to be separated, but let's pick this up. And there's Isaiah, that penetration. Uh, you know, just a great move. Being able to go to his left hand, what a weapon. Kevin McHale and Rick Mahorn each have been called for technical fouls. Mahorn goes to the bench and is replaced by John Sally. Those two have gone at it in the past. Personal was on Dennis Johnson, his first. Checks under the Pistons lineup. And I'm sure that's a little frustration from Rick Mahorn, the vein that was going on with uh, McHale after the guy he's hit, what, six out of seven shots. So that uh, creates a little, you know, pressure, tension on that player's, in, on that player, and you can see that type of response. Dumars and Thomas have accounted for 20 of the Pistons' 24 points so far. Dennis oh. Johnson in the lane. Rebound lane beer. Celtics protected the outlet well. McHale picking up Thomas on the switch. They post up Sally against Dennis Johnson, and another Celtic foul will put him in the penalty. Well, what you see the Celtics do defensively, they will switch, and you'll see many cases where a guard will be playing a big man down in the post. Timeout here at the Silverdome. At the high post, turns, forces, misses. Isaiah, good position. And the rebound. Say, Zeke is doing an excellent job on the boards. He's been in there all night long. Up he comes. See, the big forward position has got to get in this game. Mahorn, Edwards, and Sally have played the position and right now do not have any points, no points at the big forward spot tonight. Illegal, illegal defense, defense that time. Boston called for their first illegal defensive warning. Now you say, why is that a big issue here? It's a big issue because the big forward is leaving and double teaming Isaiah Thomas every time off the dribble in the lane. That forward position should be over, freeing himself up for an easy shot. Isaiah did get the open shot just now and got it down from the foul line extension. The Pistons are back within 10. Eight to play in the third, 56-46. So he's tied 2-2. Two -two. Isaiah's got 10 now. He's uh, five for 12 from the floor. Larry Bird with a big night for Boston has it topside. Hands to McHale. We're going to get a travel call on the All right, exchange. Now's the time you make your push. You have seven minutes and 47 seconds. 
you're only down 10. So if you stay within that positive framework, six to eight points, it's attainable. Isaiah picking and rolling with Lambeer. Ainge almost had to check Billy. He didn't get the switch. Isaiah foul line, gun, no. Rebound, Perry. Looked good, but didn't go. Seven and a half, the play in the third. Celtics by 10 and with it. Dennis Johnson outside against Dumars. Ainge, free for a moment, didn't send it and said outside to Dennis Johnson, who did, and he drilled it. That was excellent patience by the Celtics. Detroit played that as well as you could play anything. Thomas and Dumars were really hustling off of those picks. Adrian Dantley did a terrific job on Bird on the baseline. He got picked at least three times. But right at the buzzer, boom, the ball is in the hall. Here's a clear out for Adrian. Knock away, Pistons ball. Adrian Dantley, foul line, fall away, and it falls. Ten-point game it again. again. Got to make it on the D. That's where it's got to happen. You got a long way to go. Mahorn contests McHale, who misses, but Parrish for it. Back up strong and in. That's Robert Parrish's fourth offensive rebound in this game. Lambeer has got to get to him and keep him off the board. Adrian Dantley flies by McHale, used the body in the backboard to get himself an easy reverse off the window. Dantley now five for nine from the floor. He's got 10 points now. It's nice to see he and Isaiah come to life. Six and 18 to play in the third. Bird with a basketball for Boston. Mid post loud to McHale. Back outside, Dennis Johnson. Alone, fires it falls. The reason why the Celtics are a great shooting team especially in this building, is on the double teams, they reverse the ball really well. Bird playing Lambeer. Willie goes inside to Mahorn. Ricky tried to gotta power it up, those. couldn't. Got it back anyway. Got to make Meyer, New 24, outside, nearly knocked away and stolen. Finally touched out of bounds by Dennis Johnson. See, when you get those easy crippling shots, you've got to put it down or get fouled. And it's been, that position has been a nightmare tonight. Chuck Daly holding his head. Here comes Sally now for Mahorn. See, so he's trying to find somebody at that spot that will get it done. He even played Edwards and Lambeer together. Adrian from the sideline. Gives to Bill. Lambeer gets it back. Working against McHale. Nice. Nice explosion on the dribble. And he went to the hole and drew the hit and the foul on McHale. See, Adrian is showing McHale a lot of the dipsy do leveling off. I show you a shoulder one way and in a quick step and a reverse spin move. He's showing you his entire game off the dribble right now. And it's hard to do because he's giving McHale a minimum of six inches plus the reach of the arms. It's got to be more than six, too. Oh, absolutely. Before the reach, as you say, a minimum. You, know, you have some guys with long, uh, you know, really wide wingspans in this league, and you're talking Bowl, Tree, Rollins, and and when you're up in there, you also have to be thinking of Parrish and McHale. Yes. I mean, I know there are other guys, but these guys stand out. Our condolences to the friends of John Duda, great Piston fan, who passed away this week. Adrian Dantley calmly got two. Pistons are back within ten. Though they have taken four off the Celtic lead so far in the third. Five and 35 to play in the quarter. Dennis Johnson with a hand check from Dumars working on top. Foul line bird. Turns guns over AD. Got it. That's a tough shot. Tough shot that time. Adrian couldn't get his hands up because he got picked off, but he was there. Adrian looking to go inside and go to work on McHale. There it is. And Sally. Caps the fadeaway up and in. The first points for the big forward position. 64-54. I like this. Detroit extending the pressure now because here's what they're trying to do. They're going to try to wear them down in this half. Parrish at the foul line. Drives on Lambert. Sally helps. Blocks but fouls. See, the interesting thing tonight is Lambert keeps getting beaten off the dribble by Parrish and Parrish keeps going with his right hand to the same spot every time. Uh, when a player does this to you, you've got to make him go to his left if he's a right-handed guy, just to change it up and give him something else to think about. And they also rule that Lambeer, with the body, fouled him 
before Sally did, so the foul is on Billy, and that's four, and he comes out. Interesting change here. Dennis Rodman comes in. Well, this is a small front line now with Sally, Rodman, and Dantley. It's quick and slashing, so naturally you're hoping for a little bit more transition. You have to have it. Parrish drains them both. Boston by 12 again, 66-54. 450 to play, third quarter. Adrian Dentley on the wing to Sally, top of the key. They're going to a wide open passing game here now. Isaiah inside to Sally, lost it, and Dennis Johnson finds it. Boston to Parrish. Sally will try and check him. John knocks it away. Nice. It is off Ainge, out of bounds. Houston nice. gets the call. Nice hands defensively to cause that one. That was a deflection. We have four and 22 to play in the third. Celtics 66, Pistons 54. Here's a clear out. Isaiah and Adrian Dantley wide of the lane for the dotted line. Pump fake. Oh, now yeah, throws it up, falling down. No, but he gets the foul. Well, he didn't get fouled once. He got fouled at least three times by McHale. But you see, McHale's got a reputation. He's one of the best defensive uh, guys in the league. All defensive player. Bodied him up, bodied him up. And, but you see, he kept his arms above his head. So you can do a lot of damage with your chest and, and your thighs bumping a guy in the post area. And that's what Kevin did. Yeah, I know you love only... to see a player do that when you were on the bench and your guys are on the defensive Yeah, end. but, you know, you appreciate it. Sure. Because McHale is a great offensive player, the leading field goal percentage guy in the league year after year. But people never talk about Kevin's defensive ability. He's been on the first team all defense last two years. Best pair of forwards ever, McHale and Bird. I mean, together on one team. Well, you know, I can't go way back. Billy Cunningham said that, you know, he thought their front line is the greatest front line ever in the history of basketball. Now, I know people from different eras will argue that. You know, the old Lakers with Mike and Pollard and, and Mickelson. Uh, Mickelson. Yeah, you know, guys back then would say, wait a second, who's better than that group? <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Sure. AD scored twice. Pistons with a uh, 10. Bird backdoors Dantley. Dennis Johnson gets him the ball. He gets it up and gets it down. The Adrian is so concerned about worrying about Bird coming off of a pick and that he's playing him on the top side. But that was a great pass from Ainge. Umar spinning inside, uses the glass and gets it to go. 10 again. 68 58. Three and a half to play in the third. Dumars bothering Dennis Johnson Parrish in the backcourt to screen. Joe saw it, missed it. What you're trying to do is wear him down, have a fatigue factor. You're not thinking about right now. What you're thinking about is later, later in the game. Ains will try for three deep on the wing. No, Sally go. with the rebound. Here's your chance to get it to eight. To stay within your knitting, as they say. Dumars from the wing, misfires. Isaiah's got the rebound on the baseline. McHale's on him. Get it out and get a good shot. Adrian Dantley with Bird and Ainge two-timing him. Flips to Rodman. Goes plenty back into the timeline to get it. Shot clock with plenty on it. You're right. 13 now as Isaiah comes down the lane. Dishes to Dumars. Now it's at 10-9. Outside Isaiah. Still plenty of time. Celtic fans cry and foul. Uh-oh. Four seconds. Isaiah tries to triple from the top. One on the clock. No. Rodman had it. Lost it to McHale. Now Ainge. Now Bird. Larry Bird on the dribble. Guns wide of the lane. Misses again. Sally tries to save it off Parrish and does. Wow, what a break. Sally's trying to rebound the ball with one hand. I mean, you can't rebound the ball with one hand, especially in this building with all that bouncing around going. Time out here, 2.31 to play in the third. The Pistons are within 10 of the Celtics, 68-58 on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Right now they have Robertson for Bird. 219 to play in the third. Adrian Dantley down the nice. lane by the hole. Hooks on the run. No. Isaiah got the rebound on the comeback. Put it up and in. A uh, loose ball foul on Rodman. And he did. And you know what? So that, that was unnecessary because the Pistons had the inside. Chuck Daly just can't believe all of the things that have happened. Daly went strong off the dribble and he got fouled 
Okay, unfortunately, when the rebound came off, that's when Rodman knocked uh, Roberts. Roberts right out of bounds. So Boston gets it back. They lead it by 10, 68-58, 205 to play in the third. Roberts, who's on for Bird, goes to McHale, who's two times. Outside, Dennis Johnson against Dumars. Six seconds. Shot clock at five now. Long gun, Dennis Johnson. No, long rebound, Isaiah. Often does that happen? Oh, to Rodman. Yes. Did he fly to the hole or what? He just wow. knocked it down off the window. You know, they had nothing on that. They were four Celtics back. That was just all created by Rodman. All three coaches from Detroit are up now. They want full court pressure. They're trying to wear them down. They want to get down inside that four minutes with a little fatigue factor going. Boston by eight now. Minute and a half to play in the third. They led by 14 at half. McHale jump hooks and misses from the baseline. Parrish with a long arm rebound. Missed the putback. Off push. it comes to Isaiah. Push. There it is. Four, Four on three. two. Rodman deep. Hard foul by Ames. That's a great move by Dumars because Rodman was jumping up that time, mouthing off and saying something. Dumars just pushed him right out of bounds because he it's a late call. See, this is a late call. He gets hit in the face. See how he jumped right back in. And I watched Dumars. Got him right out of there. Yep. Got him out of there. No technical foul. No mouthing off. Now, just go to the foul line and make the two foul shots. The game is inside of eight right now. That's the second time he was fouled on that play. Yes. Dennis Johnson got him first, and Dennis Johnson will officially get the foul. Yeah, but remember what we say. This is where you can't lose your concentration. Dennis missed the first. Well, uh, he's three for eight now from the foul line in this series. Chuck Daly trying to keep his team fired up. Second short to Parrish. That's too bad. 112 to play in the third. Dennis Johnson out of the game now. Now just match it. The key thing now is just go off six or eight and you're fine. Just, just don't go hog crazy here now. Put Make people shoot over you. Packs in the backcourt with Ainge now for Boston. Their Three shot clock winding down. Ainge forces baseline short. Scramble for it. Off it comes. Ainge saves look it, but up, Dumars is up. there. Great there look up is. for Isaiah against Paxson. Yes. Paxson grabs now, the foul. This will be interesting. This will be interesting to see what uh, Isaiah sprained his ankle. All right, there's a little twinge now. He's trying to run it off. That happens in basketball. You try to run it right out. A great look up the floor by Dumars. This is going to be interesting. Now, see, they said that he caught him, that he was even with him, okay, that it was not a deliberate foul. The breakaway gives you two and the ball. And the ball. That would have been murder right now. James Edwards in the ball game. So you have James Edwards, Rodman, and Sally up front with Isaiah and Dumars in the backcourt. Zeke going to the line. 43 seconds now to play here in the third. Isaiah, with his team within eight, will shoot two. 21 for 26 from the line in the series. Shot his share of free throws out here before the game. Just like that, all net. Well, Adrian and, and Isaiah have really had a good third quarter. But the defense has been there. The defense, remember that Boston has only scored 14 points this entire quarter with 43 seconds to go. Uh -oh. Isaiah missed the next. Scramble for it. Parrish has it. Full 40 seconds now to play in the third. Ainge will run the offense. Dumars bothers him at the timeline. Out it goes to Roberts. Jumps forward on the wing. Parrish outside to McHale. Inside. Pushed as he caught it by Edwards. All right, that's the fifth and the penalty. See, I can't bring that up enough. Every time there's a busted play and the clock is down, Parrish and McHale step into the dotted line area right in the paint there or below it, right where Parrish is walking across. And you know, I tell this to coaches all the time, almost 100 out of 100 times the defensive guy's behind you. And it's, it's an incredible. And, and, and I'm talking high school, college, and NBA. It's a great place to post people up. And they are making a field day against yeah. Pistons tonight. It worked for two free throws that both fell. Well, now the key is you got 21 seconds. Get a good shot. More important, if you don't get the good shot at the basket, get fouled. 
You want to keep it down into that 8-7 area. It's 70-61 right now. Final 10 seconds, third quarter. Rodman spinning for Isaiah. Foul line, steps in, leans, nice. guns, got it. But six seconds to go here now. You cannot let your man beat you off the dribble. Isaiah taps it away from Ainge. Rodman to Isaiah just yes. before the horn he hits. Still, still three, three seconds, seconds up there. Three seconds it's 70-65. Paxson from three-quarter court hit the top of the square. And the Pistons are within five after three. They were down 14 at the intermission at 70-65. Celtics, the fourth quarter of game five coming up on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Tickets for the Friday night are on sale during our simulcast tonight. That starts at nine. It's game six of the series. The Pistons start the fourth. Rodman of the Holy has sliced it to three. Hit the runner. 70-67. Boston to Bird, who comes right back in the game. Bird to the baseline. Here's his fadeaway. It doesn't go. Sally rebounds for Isaiah. Nice. Way up for Dumars. Great look. Dumars hits it. Joe hanging See, in the air near the goal. Cuts it to one. Chuck wants that pressure all the way down the floor. And it's doing a good job because they're wasting time on a shot clock, Boston. And you, you got to say, a little fatigue factor here. They don't have as much time. Bird Look tries to go inside. Missed the left-hander. Rodman rebound. Whistle. Oh, wow. Piston foul. Edwards, I think. Loose ball foul. Too bad because it is. the Pistons really were in there blocking out, putting their bodies on people. First team foul of the fourth. We played a minute. Pistons are within one. This is a 14-point game at the half. 54-40 Boston. Gilmore playing a little center. Gets it low on the right. Missed it. Get it out. Get it out. You get Edward it out, you got it. the game. Right. You get, you get it out right now. They're catching Boston trying to get on the offensive board. In the last four minutes, nice. Detroit 11-2. Isaiah the from the wing. Fires it in balls. On fire. <laughs> How many for Isaiah now? 17. Oh, he's smoking now. Pistons by one. Isaiah has his team in the driver's seat now. Up a point, and Boston wants time. 10 and 28 left. Pistons 71, Celtics 70. This is the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Who gives you the America cars like Reliance? And Horizon with low prices and better value than any car in its class from America or Japan. Woo-hoo. And now? No, Plymouth, that's who. The Plymouth America cars, the pride's inside. Fried shrimp, please. Shrimp cocktail, please. Hey, you the shrimp salad? To all those people who never get enough shrimp, now you will. Introducing the new all-you-can-eat shrimp and seafood bar at Big Boy. All the peel and eat shrimp, all the fried shrimp, and a whole lot more for just $8.95 at Big Boy. Finally, enough shrimp. gives you the Horizon America. Only $59.95, the best value in its class from America or Japan. Ooh, Plymouth, that's who. Plymouth Horizon America, the prize inside. We're in the fourth at Boston Garden. The Pistons have taken the lead, 71-70. Don't forget game six or game J is Friday at the Silver Dome at nine. Sales people are on duty to take your ticket orders for that one during the rest of our simulcast tonight at 338-4500. Mark Akers in a basketball game for Boston with Parrish, Bird, Ainge, and Dennis Johnson. Rodman, Edwards, Sally, Isaiah, and Dumars for Chuck Daly's team. Ainge to Bird. Foul line fadeaway. Short to Isaiah. Look up. Way there up it for is. Dumars. Great right. catch and a tap to Edwards. Wide of the lane for the gun. It goes! 
70. It's there. The fast break is there. But the rebounder has got to kick it out. He can get it out almost to the half court area. Boston looking for Bird. They find him. Bird dumps to Akers. Back outside Dennis Johnson. Deep right aim. You don't have to double team Akers. Just let Akers be played one on one. Isaiah. Well, uh, they just replaced. Maybe call for a foul here. Yeah. On Ames. Uh, Rodman. Is I think it's, it's Rodman's Rodman, foul. Yeah. yeah, it is Rodman's foul. That's three on Rodman. Now McHale is back in the game right now. McHale is in for Acres. Dennis Johnson for the Celtics, who now trail by three. Bird for McHale. Goes to Dennis Johnson. Spots up at the top. Fires no. Rebound off. Bird out of bounds. This one brought to you in part by True Value Hardware stores, including the True Value Hardware in Romeo and Maskell True Value Hardware in Birmingham. Nine and a half left. Pistons up three over the Celtics in Boston. Sally screens Ains for Isaiah, who drains it left wing. Make it 75-70. Listen, Zeke got going in the third quarter with nine points and four rebounds. Led the, led the club. Now he's got two more hoops this quarter. Offense. Offense. Dennis the Johnson ball. slides down the left side, gets the offensive foul. Great New Holland. Defense. Joe said Newmark. number four on DJ. Right. Great defense. Moving of his feet. Really in DJ's face. For the Pistons Water. haven't missed in five tries. The Celtics haven't made in four here in the fourth. Isaiah working aim. Throws him with the dribble. The long gun off the heel. Bird carry. Nice. No. Rodman tapped it away from both. It's off Sally and outside the Dumars. Fresh 24 for Chuck Daly's team. Dumars picking and rolling with Sally against McHale and Dennis Johnson. He drew McHale to him down the lane. Missed Good it call. lefty. And an offensive foul is going to be called. Good call. Both reps had that offensive foul. Joe had no place to go that time. The defensive man came right across and took the charge in the lane. Danny Ainge, excellent job. Eight and 42 left. Pistons lead by five. 75-70. This is great basketball now, this, this half. This is how the playoffs are supposed to be. We are close to the home stretch. Eight and a half left. Parrish in the paint. Sally with a bump. Jake O'Donnell with a foul. He calls it on John. See, Isaiah did an excellent job of double teaming back that time stripped the ball and had it go off of Parrish's leg out of bounds. But before that happened, Sally was bumping Parrish out. 35-16 Pistons since the half. Parrish makes the first, the Celtics have 71. Now they're back within three, 75-72. He got them both. Here's Isaiah. We're converted on the baseline to the hole. Blocked by Perry. Out of bounds. Stepped out first. Eight and 16 to play. More backcourt pressure by Dumars on Dennis Johnson. Just enough to work him. Dennis Johnson with a three-quarter turn all the way up the floor. And Hugh Hollins stops the action for a warning for Edwards and McHale. Yeah. Well, you know, that's it, fine because he didn't let anything happen here right now. And uh, you don't want it to happen. Eight minutes to go. Bird for Boston. Inside McHale, outside Dennis Johnson. Took the lane to the hole, threw the contact, and threw it up. Falling down, he'll shoot two. In that situation, you must come across just like Sally did and go for the block. You cannot allow a guy at this time in this game on the road to go down the middle and lay it up without thinking about it because you don't want him going down there the next time. Sally picked up his third. Pistons fourth. Now the Celtics have no team foul so far in the fourth. DJ missed the first. That's a bad stat, no doubt about it. But... 
you got to make this guy, he, a layup he's going to make 99% of the time. Make him go to the foul line and hit the foul shots. Split the pair. Got the second. Pistons up a deuce. Just under eight minutes left. Dumars up the middle. On the wing to Isaiah. Now Joe gets it back on top against Dennis Johnson. Isaiah races left corner. Dumars gets it to him. He sends it but doesn't score it. McHale with a rebound. Boston can tie. 7 and 38 to play. Danny Ainge way outside against Isaiah. Inside of McHale. Double team. That leaves Dennis Johnson free at the top. Sends it. No. Rodman with the rebound. Dennis hands to Dumars. Up to Isaiah. Whips nice, the pass to Edwards. Nice. Hard to the hoop. Didn't get it down. But he did draw the foul. See, that's the way to go to the basket. He went up there with both hands. And he was going to dunk that if he could. And, and it's a strong move by James Edwards to the basket. Mikhail going hard for the block. And any time you go up there with two hands up in there, then you can adjust it from side to side. And he almost got the shot over the top of Mikhail. Mikhail's fourth foul. The first team foul on the Celtics in the fourth. Edwards missed the first. Edwards is now 11 for 14 from the line in the series. Missed the second. Oh Tapped in, though. Rodman snuck in. How or did Parrish that? give the Pistons a break? Oh. A little of both, I think. Pistons by four. 77-73. We have 7.09 left. McHale inside for Boston. Jump hooks and hits. What a shot. James Edwards played that as good as you can play, McHale. 77-75. The Pistons. Six and 50 to play. John Sally wide of the lane. Fake McHale left, went right. Forced the jump hook from the baseline. Missed it to Bird. That's shot. Yep. Danny Ainge with the basketball. Rodman will contest any triple he tries. Isaiah is on Bird now on a switch. Now Sally gets over on him. Isaiah's got McHale the other side. They go inside of Parrish anyway. He drew the foul. Trying for two. You know, it is so loud in here right now, you can hardly hear yourself think. I'm telling you. <laughs> what the home court advantage is all about for Boston tonight, but the Pistons really showed some second-half character. They were down 14 at halftime. Bob Ryan and the Boston Globe said the last time the Celtics scored 79 in a playoff game was March 21st, 1954, against the New York Knicks. Wow. That's before they heard of Patrick Ewing or yeah. Ewan Bernard or even Willis Reed in New York. They're sneaking up on 79 right now. Halfway through the fourth. Parrish gets two. We're even at 77. Timeout. Six and 29 left. This is the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. When it comes to sporting goods, Dunham's has more big names than the All-Star Game. Save on Spalding 61-148 NBA Synthetic Leather Basketballs. Exclusively endorsed by the NBA and designed for superior control and playability. Spalding Synthetic Leather Basketballs, just $19.99. Best of all, Dunham's has the MVP. Most valuable prices. Dunham's, our big names bring you in, our low prices bring you back. Guaranteed. Hello, Hammer. Somebody wants to see you. They say you've got what I want. Yeah, cold, bold, and smooth. King Cobra, huh? Real malt liquor satisfaction. No harsh taste. That's a powerful combination. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Do I have to drink this all by myself? <laughs> oh, Mala. It's the year of the tiger, and it's the month of the tiger at Burger King. Because right now, when you sink your teeth into a delicious Whopper with bacon or any large sandwich, you can start collecting this official set of big league tiger glasses. A different one each week for only 69 cents. But at 69 cents, they won't last. So hightail it to Burger King right now. We do it like you do it at Burger King. Detroit Pistons basketball brought to you by... 
The Michigan Lottery. Somebody's going to win. Why not you? By True Value. It's more than our name. It's our way of doing business. And by Ameritech Pages Plus, the original Michigan Bell Yellow Pages. Bill Cosby will be the act for the grand opening of the palace Saturday, August 27th. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10. We're talking the superstar's superstar, Hubie. Great sportsman, and he's a doggy guy, too. I gotta love him. Well, I mean, you guys are definitely going big, big, big time. Six and a quarter left. 77, 77. Pistons and Celtics in Boston. Isaiah deep on the wing. Turn, set, scores over range. 79-77. Pistons up a deuce. 6.08 to play. Another great game five. Dennis Johnson, top of the key. Swings it left corner range. Rainbows, no. McHale taps, no. Rodman kept it alive for Sally. Pistons on the run. Three on, Three on two. two. Nice. Nice touch from Rodman to Isaiah, who lays it in. Pistons by four now, 81-77. See, when the shot is going up, Boston is sending three to the board, and if you kick it out, you got them outnumbered. McHale two times. Sally easy, and easy. Lambeer against McHale. Easy. And now we do have tempers flaring. Yes, we do. Jake yep. O'Donnell trying to keep things calm. Yep. Jake's doing a good job. McHale is frustrated there. See, that was a bad foul by Sally, mainly because that puts Boston in the penalty with five and a half to go. Now, he fouled him while he was still down on the floor, making a move, trying to, trying to decide what he was going to do. Now, to reach around a man and try to tie a guy up is very, very difficult. And then from there, it gets, it gets rough. See, neither guy is going to back down. Neither guy is going to allow the other guy to woof him, as they say. You know, so, you know, I, I'm surprised. This is the first one we've had all night anyway. It is. I thought we would have a heck of a lot more than this by now. It had to be at least one. Sally's fourth foul, Lambeer, Edwards, and Sally with four for the Pistons. DJ and McHale with four for Boston. See, the only negative that we have in this game so far, if I'm a Detroit fan, is the fact that they're shooting the penalty. Yep. And you have 5.33 to go. Boston has only committed one foul for the quarter. It's going to be a big factor. McHale in the quiet now, and Boston makes the first. See, because you can't gamble now defensively. you got to play solid. And uh, very concerned, Casey Jones and Jimmy uh, Rogers, very concerned about all this right now. And and you, and you, when you go into McHale, as much as they're going into McHale, you have to play them honest every time. You can't almost afford to bump them right now. He made them both. Pistons up two again, 81-79. Five and a half to play in the game. Isaiah working against Ames. Takes him to the way. Rodman over the screen. Rodman's got a roll. Isaiah from the corner. Short with a shot to Bird. Quick out to Ames, but he's one on three and says, uh-uh. Nah, the defense was there. Dumars and Isaiah both got back, but mainly Dumars. Boston playing half court. They don't mind that anyway. McHale. This back out to Bird. Oh, Blind what a dish to McHale inside. He hooks, misses, but he'll go to the line all on a sensational Larry Bird pass. I want to tell you something. That was a magnificent pass because he full faked his own man out of there and then came up on his shot and still adjusted a wraparound pass around Sally, who was running at him, in order to get that ball to McHale. He's amazing. The foul is Isaiah's fourth. Well, this is the time when the primetime players must step forward. McHale too long with the first free throw. Sally out, Adrian Dantley in. Sally did an excellent job, not only defensively, but on the boards, hustling back, transition defense. Made a heavy contribution. McHale splits the pair. 81-80 now. Pistons by one. It's a clear out now. Isaiah has it against Dane. Got it line. Turn and gun. Goes! Look, I don't know what's going to happen. 
But Isaiah Thomas has been absolutely magnificent. 440 left. Dennis Johnson off uh, to Bird against AD. Swings around him, hits the glasser. See, he's been quiet in the third quarter and up until now, but he knows he can shoot over the top of Dantley anytime. Here's another clear out. Isaiah works Ainge through the contact, hit the floor, missed the shot, well, but he's going to the stripe. He was trapped that time and really laid out on, uh, uh, with, I, I, I don't know who fouled him, but I think that the back guy got him. You know, Ainge did a fairly good job, but Bird comes across there and really, really rakes him from behind. Only two on Larry Bird. That's the second for the quarter for Boston. Isaiah all net on the first. 84-82. The Pistons leading Casey Jones and the Celtics. He got the second. He lit a candle to get that one down. 85-82. This game has switched around when the Detroit Pistons went to the full court pressure and also Isaiah Thomas taking it over. He has been brilliant. 4.05 to play. Pistons up three. Celtics ball. Bird wheels inside. Left-hander short. Lambeer grabs the ball. Jake uh -oh. O'Donnell with a whistle. A piston foul. Yep, loose ball foul. Rodman. It's too bad because Detroit had that ball that time on the baseline. And once again, we're in the penalty situation. Rodman working really hard on, on McHale. Bird goes down into the lane for a tough shot. Lambeer, good pressure. They catch uh, Rodman over the back on Larry Bird. Dennis Rodman has five fouls. We were short one in our totals a minute ago. He had four, that's five. I uh, have Sally, Sally coming in right now for Rodman. Uh, both of these young men have been outstanding in the half. second half. 85-83. Bird got two. 85-84. Pistons by one. Just under four minutes left. We're in Boston. Playing on that parquet. Isaiah's had some kind of second half. Well, he wants to go one-on-one -on -one here. They have four guys on the baseline, so Zeke's going to take them when he can. Down the lane. Flips it up lefty. No. Parrish rebounds. Boston, though, will get the loose ball foul. Yeah, that was a good call. They put Sally right underneath the backboard, out of bounds that time. Parrish from the rear. That's only the third foul for the quarter now, but that's okay. You want to get into the penalty as quick as you can here. They call McHale for the loose ball foul, and he has five. Pistons to AD. Oh, okay. Outside yeah. there, a little lazy. Bird's got from there. It's out of bounds. Off the piston, says Hugh Holland. Bad pass that time. Adrian laid that pass out there too soft. It was very soft pass, no start. Bird once again, one of the better guys in the league in playing the passing lane. Three and 35 to go now. Chuck Daly's team still up a point. 85-84 in Boston. A remarkable second half. They were down 14 at the intermission. Boston trying to retake the lead with three and a half left. See, they're going to Bird here now. Dantley's going to have to really play him tough. Dumars over to two times. They'll cross court it to Dennis Johnson. Shot clock 10. He's on the way. Clock at seven. In the lane. Contact from Lambeer. Missed it. Got his own rebound. Made it. And he's on the floor. Hard. No call. No call. They should go. Dennis Johnson is hurt. Somebody's open here now. Dumars should be four. wide up. Somebody's a Sally's got to get to the front of the rim. Dumars starts down the lane. He's grabbed by Larry Bird. Boston up one on Dennis Johnson's make. Well, he barely got to four court. Well, Dennis Johnson went strong to the basket, got fouled by Lambeer. And when the rebound came off, there was no call. Lambeer pulls Dennis Johnson to the floor. He makes a spectacular shot off the board. There is no call. Now, Dennis Johnson is exhausted right now, and, and it has to be somewhere in the groin area or lower back. They'll take a timeout to rest him. 2.58 left. Celtics by one on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. 
If you'd like your money to head in the right direction, head to Michigan National Bank for investment opportunities. You'll control your interest by how much you deposit, by how long you deposit, or both. You'll get the security of insured accounts and the opportunity to lock in your rates or get 24-hour card access to your money. Michigan National Money Master CDs and Money Market Accounts. Whether you choose one, the other, or both, heads you win, tails you win. Only at Michigan National Bank. When someone in your family is having a problem with alcohol or with drugs, don't wait until it's too late. We can help. At St. Joseph's of Macomb County, we have a special treatment program just for you. At St. Joseph's, we use the power of love to make our program work. Call St. Joseph's of Macomb County at 263-2760. Because drugs and alcohol can hurt someone very special. This is the only game in town. King Cobra, huh? Cold, bold, and smooth. No harsh taste. Real malt liquor satisfaction. That's a powerful combination. Right, man. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. King Cobra. The new Mexi Melt. Cheese, beef, and pico sauce melted together. Go for it. Taco Bell has the road to make a ride. Left. Pistons with it down one. Isaiah on the wide side of the floor. And we're going to get a whistle and an offensive foul. Setting a screen with Sally. He fouled. That's five. Well, they claim, U Holland claims that Sally on that back pick when the ball went across the floor get, get an offensive foul. They, they call it, they gave with an elbow, but. I don't know, did that didn't look like a vicious elbow to me. And there's an offensive foul right there. Danny Ainge knocked over Isaiah Thomas, Jake O'Donnell right on the play. That evens things out. Let's get back to basketball. Thank guys. you. <laughs> 246 to play. Immediately following the game, stay tuned for the new look, 10 o'clock news. Glenn Ray, Amir Makeupson, Randy Birdo, and Ray Lane with the news, weather, and sports from that new TV 50 News Center. Pistons get it back. They're still down one. 2.37 to play. Isaiah over Dennis Johnson with the gun. It goes again! By Sally slipping that pick and roll that time, both defensive guys hesitated, opening up that shot for Isaiah. Isaiah sneaking up on 30. The Pistons... Have the lead again. 87 86, 220 to play. Uh, they're going to melt this bird and Dantley. Dantley behind Larry. They got Bird the ball. He went to the baseline, missed the shot, but drew the foul. Now uh, Bird's upset with himself because by dipping under Dantley, he had a clear shot at a bank in that time. But it was a real good move. Good drop step, baseline step in. He's exasperated with himself because he knows he should have had a three point play. But if you notice, every time down the floor now, they're going to this matchup because there's nothing Dantley can do about it. That's three on AD. Bird gets the first. We're even at 87. He got them both. Boston by one. Two, 12 to play in a great game. Now remember, both teams are shooting the penalty now. Both teams are in the penalty. Dumars picking and rolling with Lambeer against Burton Ainge. Nice. They got the switch. Lamb inside on Ainge. Nice. Ainge gets help, but Billy makes anyway and draws the foul. Now. That's on McHale. And that should be good night for McHale. Uh, they, I don't know now. They don't, they're not putting up six. They, what do they have over here? They, it is a six. You're right, George. You know what happened? The kid over there with the card didn't put it out. Okay, he was just holding it back and holding it back. I'm sure he didn't want to put it up. He lives in Boston. Well, this is a big loss for Boston right now, no doubt about it. One of their premier guns. Roberts is coming in now for McHale. And uh, now, on that pick and roll for Detroit, what you saw is what's been happening. 
Boston switches every time. We've been saying all night, all you got to do is slip the pick and roll, and the forward going or the center right here, this time it was Lambeer, the center's got a guard on it. Now you force the rotation, you get the layup, and you get the foul. It's a definite mismatch, which has been here all night long. Bill Lambeer has 14 with a hoop, 15 with a free throw. And the Pistons are up a deuce, 90-88, just under two minutes left. Well, this is the premier guy right now. He's going to do everything in his power. Good substitution by Chuck Daly. Rodman on Bird. Make it tougher for him. Rodman for AD. Danny Ainge bothered by Isaiah at the sideline. They loop to Bird. Dumars helps Rodman. Flip it foul line. Dennis Johnson down the lane. High glasser. No. But a whistle. And the Pistons are going to get a foul. Yeah, he, he got fouled. The Pistons were late getting there. Dennis made a good first down in there. Uh, good rotation, though but it just got there too late. All the Piston players wanted an elbow. Dennis Johnson elbowing Isaiah. That's Isaiah's fifth foul. Chuck Daly with Dick Versace and Ron Rustin. Well, they know how many Isaiah has. We're going to go back and forth here now. Every chance that Detroit gets the ball offensively, they bring Adrian back in the game. And uh, anytime defensively that they can do it, they'll put Rodman in the ball game for AD. They do it now. A.D. before Dennis Johnson shoots two, replaces Dennis. A minute and 40 left. Dennis Johnson drains the first. It's 90-89. Says, oh, my aching back. Dennis has had a very solid game today. Think about it. He's got 20. They only have 89. He can play for me anytime. Got them both. It's 90-90. A minute and 38 left. Here comes Isaiah for the Pistons. Great night for the Pistons. Now, wasting time here. Oh, Gives nice. to Lambeer. Gets it back. Oh, Nearly loose. It wheels inside. It's knocked away. He's fouled. He's fouled. Put him on the line. Everybody in the building wanted to carry that time. Steps, carry, whatever you want. Double dribble. They wanted a violation. What happened was, see, that was a, what you call that right there is, is what, George? <laughs> that is, I'm trying to get control while I yeah, catch okay. the ball here. Yeah, except for one thing, it was a carry. Uh, Detroit getting away with one right there. Isaiah makes the first. Oh, on what may well have been a superstar call. Yes, I, I, I'm so impressed with Isaiah in the second half of this game. He's just been outstanding. He got them both. Pistons 92, Celtics 90. 1 and 25 to play. Ainge up courting against Isaiah. With his back to him. Goes to Robert Don't Wadale. double team. Don't Robert double against team. Sally, one on one. That's right. Double pump, now the shot, oh. got it. Big time basket for Freddie Roberts. Let sure me tell you that. When you think about it, that's his first shot of the game. First shot of the game, and he knocked it down. A minute oh. left. It's I 92 all. Dumars off the screen to the hole. Out of bounds off Boston. All right. You have 10 seconds on the shot clock. 56 for the quarter. End game. And the Pistons take time. We will stay right here. We'll keep it here during this timeout. The Pistons take it 56 seconds to play. We're that, even at 92. That was a big move by Joe Dumars to get through that trap that time by Bird and Dumars' man just to get it off. So we have uh, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Now that puts a lot of pressure on the inbounds play, getting the ball to the guy that you want to get it to and still trying to give him at least five to six seconds to work. Chuck Daly goes to work with the X's and O's. And we'll take time for Buddy's Pizza Trivia Quiz. Our question, who's the only coach in NBA history to coach two different teams to 60 win seasons? Buddy's Trivia winners get a complimentary dinner for two at any one of the Metro Detroit Buddy's locations. Five winners for each playoff TV game. Do you enter? Mail your answer to Buddy's Trivia, the Pistons, the Silverdome, Pontiac, 48057. Include that name and address. Winners drawn randomly. 92, 92. That's what's up on the board. Speaking of Boston writers, Mike Madden of the Globe 
said the other day that the Pistons better hope they're all six, eight, ten point games coming down the stretch. That's the only way they can win them. Uh, the close ones are all going to belong to Boston. Boston's great down the stretch because of their personnel experience and savvy, but the Pistons, I'm sure, would like to prove the local guy wrong here. See, my big thing has been, now this is the third game they've played in this building, and all three games the Pistons had a chance to win. Now, when you think about it, how many teams come in here during the course of the season, and especially at playoff time, and have this kind of competitiveness against the Boston Celtics in this building? They clawed their way back from 14. We're even now. Don't forget, Sting will open the Palace as another winner. Saturday, August 13th at 8. Tickets on sale at Ticketmaster outlets, including Hudson's and selected AAA outlets. See, the big thing now is you got to get the ball inbounds. And, and it has to be a good pass. And more important, you got to pick the people. There it is. Isaiah good, good gets to the corner. Johnny Johnson inside. jumps out on him. He won't take it. He'll go inside. Left handed up. No. Bird snatched it down. Timeout, Boston. 20 seconds. Now they're going to make it a 20 second timeout with 50 seconds left. And the score knotted up at 92. What a great gift idea for Father's Day for that special guy. There's still time to get the Pistons Fantasy Tape 88. That special friend or relative can be the hero of the playoffs and be named most valuable player when we customize a game play-by-play -play audio cassette especially for you. He'll make the big shots and the big plays. For more information on Pistons Fantasy Tape 88, call this telephone number, 517-371-2142. Well, that was a very difficult shot that was attempted by Isaiah Thomas. He was triple teamed, and he took it from his right hand to his left hand and sent up a like a little baby hook that time. Now, Chuck Daly just came back with his own 20-second timeout. Now, this is interesting because there are 50 seconds for the quarter and the game. So he must have spotted something here, and uh, it'd be interesting because they never inbounded the ball and uh, the ball is all the way in the backcourt. We have two and two in the timeout columns now. Here we for each squad after this 20 for Chuck Daly. Want to thank all the people at Thomas Cook Travel for their help for the Pistons and the backcourt club during this season, especially, of course, our guy Sal Prezioso. Well, 50 Detroit, seconds to play. Detroit is going to press the full court. Now, when you do this, you cannot let a guy go long to the basket for a long lob pass for a layup. Now, you've got to watch, it, and it can happen at any time. And all you do is you set a back pick on a guy, and you send the guy long. Now, Sally's better be careful here with Roberts. Okay, there you go. Roberts playing for the fouled out Kevin McHale. Rodman, Sally, Bill Lambeer, Isaiah, and Joe Dumars for the Pistons. Trying to stop the Celtics. Bird over Rodman, deep on the wing. Shot short to Isaiah. 30 seconds to play, and you bet Chuck Daly wants Chuck a Daly. timeout. He'll take time here. 29 seconds on the clock when it stops. The score's tied in Boston, 92 all. Timeout on the Pistons' playoff basketball network. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ted, and this is Ed, and this is my other brother, Fred, and we're here playing Spin to Win, the new instant lottery game with millions of winners. Well, it seems I have won, and my brother Ed has won, and my other brother Fred has not won. You got to rub off the front side, Fred. Play Spin to Win. Everybody and his brother could win. Unless you got a brother like In a world where nothing lasts forever, Marvin Gorham has driven his 57 T-Bird over 740,000 miles. He relies on Carol Hansen's Shell Auto Care for service and repairs. There's probably a Shell Auto Care dealer like Carol right in your neighborhood. 740,000 miles. You don't believe it? Call him. Say you lost. The ball didn't work. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Uh-oh. You got any money? Uh-uh. What's this? Wow. And this. 
You're a walking piggy bank. Wow. There you go. What about you, Grandpa? I'll have a sip of yours. That's an awful big sip, Grandpa. I'm an awful big guy. Now, let's see some of that fancy foot part. This is our last radio TV simulcast. Thanks to our great sponsors all season long and the people at Channel 50, Ken Bryant, John Rushlow, Kirk Borland, Alan Babbitt, the Pistons' Chris Bowden, Pete Storich, Alan Gehagen, and, of course, Joe Nune. Pistons basketball here. We're even at 92. Shot oh, clock 14, 23 seconds of play in the game. Joe Dumar, they're going to run Isaiah off the staggered pick on the baseline. There it is, right there. They do, he's got it. Deep left, Roberts on him. Against the double team, goes baseline. The high glass won't go. Bird boards it, 10 seconds left. And Boston's going to take time out. Boston calls time. We'll stay here. Isaiah Pistons Thomas. has to plot some defensive strategy now. Well, Isaiah's dejected. They ran a staggered screen off the baseline for him. And as he receives the pass, he immediately swings right to the baseline as Robert switched out on him. Now, he goes down in and he splits the double team. He splits Roberts and Dennis Johnson. Bird High gets the rebound. On the iron. Well, you see, here's the thing. Anytime you go into a double team like that, you're going to get body contact. But no referee is going to end this game right down in there with that kind of contact. Both guys had their hands up above their heads. The shot had a definite chance of going in the basket. Now, we have 10 seconds to go. Boston has one timeout left, so you got to put the pressure on now. Both teams are shooting the penalty, so you know you've got to get the ball in bounds. So if you can't, you've got one timeout to call. Now, Detroit also has one timeout left. So no matter what happens here, you're hoping that there will be at least, you know, two to four seconds here if Boston does take a shot where you can get the ball back and call a timeout of your own and hopefully get something done. Hot and humid in Boston, but the fans in here are very comfortable now. Their Celtics have 10 seconds to get a shot. Game J will be Friday at 9. Order your tickets now. Pistons have salespeople on duty. Special thanks to the Broadway in Birmingham and downtown Detroit. Especially from Chuck Daly and me, the ultimate men's store. All right. Boston's Bird from the court. It right at half court now. Now you have to be careful of them getting it in and getting it right back to Bird. In the NBA, the most dangerous guy is always the guy out of bounds. So you can't fall asleep and turn your head and look to see where the ball is going. You got to stay with your own man. All right, they're taking Bird right down. They're going to turn him around and post him up on Rodman. Here it is, right he here. He inbounded to Dennis Johnson, got it back. He'll force over Rodman and miss. No. Out of bounds. Neither guy saw left. it. Neither referee saw it. Okay? Unbelievable. How about that? They give it to Detroit with one second left. And I do believe eight minutes ago, you wrote down on paper and you said overtime. <laughs> I can't believe it's it. It's looking like it, Hubie. <laughs> the Pistons take time with a second left. Isaiah Thomas had 15 points through three quarters. He has 16 so far in the fourth. I think there may be a chance he'll take this shot. Well, you can't say enough about the defense Dennis Rodman puts on Larry Bird. He cannot beat him off the dribble. And then on the release of the shot, he was way up and challenged the shot. Might have even got a piece of Bird's hand that time. And now as the ball goes out of bounds, you know, it was extremely questionable who it really went off. Now it did go off of Boston, off of Robert Barris, Jake O'Donnell, good call. Bill Lambeer almost touched it, then he pulled his hand back in a hurry. Now, Detroit has no timeouts left. So the inbounds pass has got to be a good one. You always try to catch somebody going, moving to the basket, wherever he is, whether he's going to the corner, whether he's going for a lob to the front of the rim, wherever he's gone. Because the, the only thing is, is that you're trying to do is have the guy catch the ball as he's going forward to the basket. You hate to get a guy coming out who has to catch the ball with his back to the basket, then turn around and try to get a shot on 
and I don't think this is going to be a second and a half second. You know, I think you're a worry word. <laughs> you might worry about that. <laughs> if one of these teams had Hubie Brown on one end of the bench, I bet you some team next year does. Now, let's they got uh, a big enough bank account. Right now, Lambeer is going to take the ball out at half court. They just brought in Lojas at seven foot on the ball. Very smart move. He's going to jump up and down to discourage this pass that Lambeer is going to try to make. Now watch a back pick. Isaiah on Sally going to the front of the rim. That's a possibility. There it is. Uh-oh. What I do you got? near the rim. Doesn't go. Dumars tries a put back. We will go to overtime. 92-92 at the end of regulation in game five of the Eastern Finals. This is the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Who gives you the Voyager? Number one minivan and owner satisfaction. And now, winner of Family Circle's Family Car of the Year Award. Who? Plymouth, that's who. Plymouth Voyager, the pride's inside. I like to show you some of my favorite shots. Here's a shot of me shopping at Dunham's. Here's a shot in Dunham's great sportswear. And here's a shot of Dunham's guaranteed lowest price. Save on Lee 100% cotton free wash denim jeans. Authentic Lee five pocket rider styling and famous Lee fit. Now at Dunham's guaranteed lowest price. Only $19.99. And here's a foul shot. Just kidding, Chuck. Dunham's, our big names bring you in. Our low prices bring you back. Guaranteed. Teletext is like your own newspaper the instant you want it. And now the Teletext is becoming available just about everywhere. A Zenith Digital TV is all you need for home delivery. Zenith. Quality. And nobody delivers Zenith quality at lower prices than ABC Warehouse. Because we beat all deals for life or give you $1,000 cash. More proof that ABC Warehouse is the closest thing to wholesale. Who gives you the Horizon America? Only $59.95, the best value in its class from America or Japan? Who? Plymouth, that's who. Plymouth Horizon America, the prize inside. The Pistons tried when their final second to lob for John Sally. Bill Lambeer almost threw it in the hole and Sally came very close to getting it down. That was a, a really an almost. Uh, and to throw the ball like Lambeer just did, that distance and put it on the money is a very, very hard thing to do. Isaiah had topped out. Yes, he was. And the Celtics went for the lob. He was free at the top of the game. Yes, he was. Uh, Isaiah was at the top of the circle. Dennis Johnson was caught down around the foul line area. But, you know, the pass still would have had to travel into Isaiah and it's questionable whether or not uh, Dennis Johnson could have recovered. Five minute overtime. That was a great second half of basketball by Detroit and then as a, a very big comeback by Boston when they got five down. Boston will play OT the same way they finished regulation without Kevin McHale. Missed jump by the Pistons on the jump to start overtime. Boston's ball. Roberts Parrish, Bird, Ainge, and Dennis Johnson, Isaiah Dumars, Dantley Sally, and Bill Lambeer. Boston to Parrish. Missed the hook. Got it back. Finger roll. No! AD rebound. Well, a lot of very good care of it. A lot of bang. And I tell you, Lambeer pushed Parrish on the hook shot. If they ever run that back, you'll see it. He just pushed them. Here's a pick and roll now, Dumars. Let's see if Lambier spots up or goes. He, yeah, take him in. You got the guard in there now. You got to go inside. Bird oh, on Dumars. My. Lambier fell down in the lane. Oh, you, Roberts, really, Ames, Dennis Johnson. You can't let a guard put you on the floor in a situation like that. The Celtics come the other way. Larry Bird. Passed it back outside to Dennis Johnson. Too flat with a jumper top of the key. Chased it down, though. Right corner. 
No score so far in overtime. We've played a minute. Oh, he's going to back Isaiah down. Dennis Johnson wide the lane. Whirls inside. Lambeer to help. He hits the glasser anyway. All right, big shot. How's a spinning hook. 94-92. They want to go to Adrian Dantley here now versus Roberts on a clear out. AD wide of the lane. Inside on Robertson Bird. And he drew that foul. Roberts picks up the foul. He has four. Well, uh, this is to me. Dantley can really take advantage of Roberts. Robert Roberts is, a, you know, he's a good, steady player, a good second unit guy. Kevin McHale talking to Chris Ford over on the bench over there about how you defense Adrian Dantley. He's a tough cover. Missed the first free throw. Get a chance now to pull Chuck Daly's team within one. It's 94-92 Boston. 3-37 and 37 to play in overtime. Uh, you know, he's 18 for 29 in, the, in this series. Got the second. The crowd quiets down. Boston by one. And with it. Dennis Johnson across the 10-second line. Against Dumars on the wing. Yep. Shot clock 12 as they go to Bird wide of the lane. Yeah, you got to go to Bird. Parrish wants to screen for him. Now it's Bird against Lambeer. The step back, up fake, go to Parrish mid post, get it back behind a three One point second. Line. Inside Parrish, turn around, gun a second on the shot clock. No. Sally rebound. Now you got to push the ball here right now. That's how you came back, Detroit. You came back with defense and pushing the ball in transition. Three minutes to play in right. overtime. Here it comes again. Boston by one. Only six sec uh, seven seconds now. Seven. He can't guard him. Adrian Dantley hits the running hook. And we get a foul. He has the Pistons up one. See, it As doesn't he matter. Threw it in from the dotted line. See, it doesn't matter right now. They have no one on the floor who can guard Adrian Dantley. See, Bird can't play him off the dribble, and neither can Roberts. And then, when you think about it, every time they take Parrish high, which, which uh, Lambeer is doing, they don't have a shot blocker in there, down in there to rotate. But Adrian's got to make these foul shots, you know. He's, you know, he's missed 11 in a series, totally uncharacteristic. Doesn't miss there. There you go. Three-point trip for AD. Pistons up a deuce, 96-94, 250 to play in OT. Dennis Johnson with a rock on top against Dumars. Holds uh, it high as he stops the dribble. Left wing stage, foul away. Yeah. Two Hollands with a call. While Bird was trying to post Adrian Dantley on a dotted line in the lane. That's the first time he's done that, and uh, Adrian Dantley fouled him. Now, I want to see what happens here now if Bird keeps taking him in there rather than take the ball out on the wing. Boston gets 24 more to score. Bird on the baseline. No on the J. Rebound long to Dennis Johnson, though. Wide of the lane against Isaiah. Who's playing with five. Ainge deep in the corner. Triple try. No. Off the heel. Parrish with a rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Bill Lambeer. Uh, the, the rebounding is ferocious right now. You've got to be a man in there. There's all kinds of forearms, and people are getting blasted up in the, uh, in the head and in the upper body. I'll tell you. Austin ball, 24 more. 2.14 to play in overtime. Pistons up two. Don't look at the ball. Just watch down in the lower part of your screen, the jockeying. They go to Parrish and inside. They called that travel move. Robert Parrish went to the dotted line but took a step, says Jake O'Donnell. But, uh, you know, we, we've said this early, though. You can call it on him every time he catches the ball because he does. He changes his pivot foot. Well, they're going to say Jake O'Donnell made that call in Boston. Just under nice. Left. Isaiah on the baseline got by Robert Short nice. with it to the foul. Isaiah hurt his ankle. He went through there and came down. He's holding his right ankle. Now, this is the one that earlier, when he went out of bounds that time, uh, when he was caught from the rear, you know, he's ginger right now. It'll be interesting if they have to use a timeout. See, what I liked about what Isaiah did on Roberts, he leveled him off, and then he just took him and blew right by him. Now, as he goes up, to take his shot and he's hit on top of the head he came down and jammed the foot now they're going right now with Paxson for Roberts Roberts just fouled out well you know this is a pretty good move by J.C. Jones Paxson is the same size as Adrian Danley plus he gives them a uh, you know another score but it hurts them on the boards a lot 
Paxson's back, bothering him, having a tough time shooting. He can't find the bottom of the basket. Isaiah can, makes the first free throw. Pistons by three, just under two to play in overtime. It's 97-94. Isaiah again, makes again. 33 for the Piston captain. Plenty of time, 150 to go. A minute and 44 left. Pistons by four. Celtics with it. Ains looking for Bird, finds him against Sally. On the baseline, left-hander short. Sally Big forces, rebound. cradles it. Pistons Big have rebound. the Celtics in trouble with a minute and a half left. They've got to be careful, but not overly cautious. See, the next foul by the Celtics is the penalty. So Detroit's in good position. Now, you don't want to take any crazy shots. Adrian Danley, give and go to Isaiah. Isaiah yes. gets it back, gets it up, gets it down. Great play. 100 to 94. Hey, give Danley credit. He read that double team and delivered a pass. Minute and 10 to play in overtime. Dennis Johnson pivots wide of the lane against Dumars. Hooks it dotted line to Perry. One dribble, now the gun. It doesn't go. Bird with a rebound. Lost it off. Isaiah out of bounds. Good try by Isaiah. He was in there that time. You have one minute to go right now. One minute. We got some hurting Cowboys out there. Dennis Johnson and Isaiah playing hurt. Ditto for Paxson, but hey. This is the Eastern Conference Finals. Timeout called. A minute to play in overtime. Pistons up six on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Some of the stories we're following for you tonight in the 10 o'clock news center. The Moscow summit wraps up with high hopes, but was there any real progress? A complete report coming your way. If you find something suspicious in your kid's room, one local police department will tell you whether it may be illegal drugs. The most famous symbol of Detroit's rebirth faces a bright new future. Jim Burke joins us with a recap of tonight's big Pistons game. Paul Gross from Weather Center 50 to tell us if there's rain on the horizon and more. Coming up on the 10 o'clock news. Arbor Drugs announces a new kind of club with no dues, no meetings, and lots of free gifts. It's the Picture Picture Club, and it's only at Arbor. When you join, you earn points every time you bring in a roll of film for photo processing. Save your points and get your choice of gifts, like film, cameras, even a weekend for two at Detroit's Weston Hotel. And with Arbor's Picture Picture Club, you still get that extra set of prints on Kodak paper overnight at no extra charge. Shop Arbor, the drugstore with a difference. Man conquers Niagara Falls, and we were around. Man builds Hoover Dam, and we were around. Man needs plumber, and we're still around. Find help where you've always found it. Ameritech Pages Plus, the original Michigan Bell Yellow Pages. When can you read down Magazine. Magic. Magic lessons. Baby, I have you on the ground in the flash. Find the help you need fast with the easy-to-use headings in the Ameritech Pages Plus, the original Michigan Bell Yellow Pages. Stay tuned for the TV 50, 10 o'clock news. Slightly delayed immediately after overtime with Amir and Glenn and Randy and Ray on the new look TV 50. George and Hubie here at Boston Garden. Now you have 23 seconds on the shot clock. And you must be careful now for all the three-point shots. Now, remember, Boston was the number one three-point shooting team in the league. Here comes Bird off a double screen. Dennis Johnson gets it to him two-timed on the baseline, leans inside anyway, and drills it. And I jump right over Dumars, right into his chest. 100 to 96. Well, you know, you got to play basket. big. You got to play big now. You can't be worrying about getting fouled or anything. You got to play your game. Chuck Daly will take timeout. 48 seconds left. His team up four, 100 to 96. We're in the Eastern Conference Finals on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. Now's your chance to win the Wendy's Grand Prix sweepstakes. Win one of 50 Firebird mini cars. Win one of 50 pair of tickets to the Detroit Grand Prix. Win a 1988 Mustang GT from Village Ford. Enter at Wendy's through June 9th and get a Wendy's Grand Prix combo. A quarter pound single, fries, and limited edition Grand Prix cup filled with Pepsi, just $2.99. Mm. 
Gentlemen, start your engines. Enter Wendy's Grand Prix sweepstakes to win. Hello, I'm Ted, and this is Ed, and this is my other brother, Fred. And we're here playing Spin to Win, the new instant lottery game with millions of winners. Well, it seems I have won. And my brother Ed has won, and my other brother Fred has not won. You got to rub off the front side, Fred. Play Spin to Win. Everybody and his brother could win. Unless you got a brother like... Guests on Pistons Television receive a gift certificate from these participating Pro Golf Discount Dealers. Their professional staff can fit you with the equipment that's right for you, so you can play your best for fun or for keeps. Their 80-store buying power assures you of the lowest prices every day. They guarantee it. Pro Golf. We discount everything but service. The Broadway. The Broadway. The ultimate men's store. Downtown Detroit and downtown Birmingham. Two timeouts left for each squad. 48 seconds showing on the clock in overtime. Pistons by four. Only 15 seconds on the shot clock. Dantley to Isaiah. Isaiah working against Dennis Johnson. Bird double teaming. Lambeer on top. Wow. Deep right to Dumars. Almost a bad pass. Six seconds. You got to get going, Zeke. Isaiah has the top side. Lambeer off the screen. Isaiah down the lane. Off to Dumars. Two on the clock. Guns? No. Rebound aim. 30 seconds to play. Pistons 100, Celtics 96. And Boston wants timeout. They'll burn one of the two. They have the ball. They're going to stop with 27 seconds left. QB, we will stay here as Boston tries to figure a way out of a four-point hole, 196. Well, you look at the strategy right now. The thing that you do not want to give up is an open three-point shot. Now, I know that's not the most important thing. Boston has got to score quick. Right. Now, they've got to score and then put full-court pressure on Detroit, force Detroit into some kind of a turnover because they need two possessions here. Okay, they need to score right now and then get the ball right back. Now, Detroit has something in their favor. They can foul. They have a foul to give here right now. All right, Boston is in the penalty. So that means that even if Boston should score here right now, that you must protect the basketball when you inbound it as a Detroit player and realize that if you get fouled, you're going to the foul line. So they can't be in there grabbing the net. Okay. So now, I'm looking at Casey Jones right now. If I'm him, I have a play that I can get down inside in two to four seconds. I've got to go to my game down inside. If you take that away, then I might go perimeter, okay? But I'm not going perimeter first, because if you miss the perimeter shot, that's, Cools a, out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, it, it, the game will be all over. They'll push it down the floor. Game J will be game six, Friday at nine at the Silverdome. Be there. We want to see your face in the place. Call 338-4500 during the rest of the excitement from Boston. Order your tickets. most important thing now is to score quick and it'll be interesting to see if Detroit switches and switches and tries not to let them down inside now remember what we said the most dangerous guy is the guy out of bounds don't let Larry Bird throw it in and get it back and shoot an uncontested shot uh oh watch out to Dennis Johnson down the lane got fouled on the way down Dumars with that foul to give well, David you, yeah you're hoping he got him early the on the side, yes, they gave it to him on the side. They did not get the to the hoop call. That's right. And Boston knew it. They're out on the side. And you say, well, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is two seconds went off the clock. Thank you. Now, both teams are shooting the penalty. Bird. Ooh, tough Dennis defense. Johnson. Dumars really dogged him. Uh, Rodman. Offensive foul. And Paxton foul. fighting for position. Yep. Paxton's going to get the offensive foul. Yes, indeed. From Jake O'Donnell. And you know what? Nobody on that bench is contesting it, and they knew that it happened, okay? Now, the big thing now is you want to run time. Chuck Daly wants a timeout. You want to get the ball inbound, and you want to pass the basketball. You try to tell players, don't hold the ball and get fouled, because two bad things happen now. Number one, you stop the clock. That's the one thing you don't want to have happen with a four-point lead. And number two, you're putting the pressure on yourself to 
to uh, make the foul shot. Paxson hooked Rodman's arm under his on the foul, but boy, after that, they both flailed on one another. Well, I tell you, it had uh, to go one way or the other. Yeah, when you're looking at that re replay, or you know, you had a chance to see it when it did happen. You know, both guys are fighting for position. It's a, uh, it's a tough call. You know, it's a very, very tough call because it could go either way. What do you think, Hubie? Because somebody goes down and it's so flagrant, you got to call something. Yeah, but I also felt I didn't think it would be called. Do you know why? Because the ball was at way up past the top yeah. of the circle, and they were still working. They were still working. The Pistons and will take it, thank you. They figure yeah. they, get, they uh, have some coming still in this series, yeah, but I don't know if you make that call. You see, Rodman really worked hard, not only on McHale, but did a good job in uh, Paxson. I'm kind of surprised that they were posting up Paxson at this time of the game. But then again, he's been around the league a long time. He's been an all-star player. You know, uh, we've had some people yell that it's been a rodeo down inside there tonight. But, you know, that, that's what we say about pro basketball. It's a non-contact sport, and well, that you should be able to hold your temper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that game they play in the Western Conference looks like it's in a different league, maybe in a different sport. All right, now they, they just... They dance out there. Boston just brought in Lojas for uh, Paxson. They're going to put Lojas on Dantley out of bounds. Now, this thing is far from over. There's 23 seconds to go. And you have a four-point spread. And remember that you, both teams are in a play. See, you can't do that. You see, Sally can't do that. Okay? Adrian Danley just lobbed it across the floor to Sally. Well, see, Danley wanted it back. Now, you see, you say, why do I say that? Because only four seconds went off the clock. You have 21 seconds left right now. And more important, you got a bad foul shooter going to the foul line. Yeah. Bill Sharman, he's not. Who's Bill Sharman? <laughs> Oh, are you an old-timer? Bill Sharman's why Dave Bing had to wear 44 in Boston. They retired his 21. All but right. John Sally. See, John Tom Sally. Made it. John Sally's putting that in my face and saying, Yubi, I'm going to make for you, I'm Yubi. knocking both of these down. You'll be right now. There it he is. He got them both. Give them big credit. Big time credit. Pistons up six. They 20 seconds three. left. They need the three. They need three and more. Dennis Johnson will force a triple left corner off the heel. Bird board. Outside Lohas. He'll leave it out there for Ainge. Got it behind him. Bird picks it up. We're in the final five seconds. Lohas deep left. Misfires on a triple. Lambeer there rebounds it, it. And as he grabs the rebound, the Pistons grab game five and they grab the home court advantage back from the Boston Celtics. Our final score here on the parquet floor where the Pistons have won twice in a week. The Pistons 102, the Celtics 96. I'll tell you what, Hubie, the Celtics now have something to think about but I don't know if the home court means anything either way in this series. Yeah, you're right. Coming into this tie right now, John Sally was 6 for 13 on the line, a 46% foul shooter, but he goes and he knocks them down. And Big they have knocked pressure. Boston down. We'll be back in a moment on the Pistons Playoff Basketball Network. I'm here. Yeah, so I see you. Who wants the game? This is the only game in town. King Cobra, huh? Cold, bold, and smooth. No harsh taste. Real malt liquor satisfaction. That's a powerful combination. Rock man. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. King Cobra. It's the year of the tiger, and it's the month of the tiger at Burger King. Because right now, when you sink your teeth into a delicious Whopper with bacon or any large sandwich, you can start collecting this official set of big league tiger glasses. A different one each week for only 69 cents. But at 69 cents, they won't last. So hightail it to Burger King right now. We do it like you do it at Burger King. Take a good look at an Arbor Drugs pharmacy. There are a few things you'll notice right away. Clean, well-stocked shelves with a full range of prescription items. Then there are other things you can't see that make Arbor Drugs a better drugstore, like the fact that Arbor accepts nearly 40 different health plans. 
But what really makes a difference is the Arbor Pharmacist, someone who gives you special attention, whether it means saving you money with generic equivalents or carefully explaining your prescription. Shop Arbor, the drugstore with a difference. Our Taco Bell unsung hero, Hubie loves this call, John Sally with four, the last two at the line to ice it, and nine rebounds and good defense when he came off the bench, coach. And for Isaiah, well, he's the Dunham's player of the game. Who else could be 35 points, eight rebounds, coach? He played a whole lot bigger than six feet one. Well, I thought the key was the full court pressure in the second half. Detroit outscores Boston 62 to 42 in the second half in the overtime. And then the third thing, the defense first, the scoring difference, and then Isaiah Thomas, magnificent second half under pressure. And then the whole group of guys with their overall defensive pressure really got it done. Well, Chuck Daly told me before the game, and so did you, that Isaiah was going to have to have a very big game for the Pistons to beat Boston in Boston, and he did, and they did. Well, you know, I, I like that, that run group that they had in there with uh, Sally and Rodman. They made it happen with Zeke and uh, Dumars in the backcourt, and then James Edwards was on the floor for a long period of time in there with them. Didn't do a lot of great things, but he, he kept getting the ball out to them, so they initiated the fast break, and I thought Detroit played terrific. Now, hey, Pistons deserve a lot of credit. Three great games in this building. They win two, and the other one was up for grabs. Oh, yeah. Two OTs. Right. Thanks, Hubie, very much. Enjoyed working with well, you. Well, George, it's always a pleasure. I mean, it's been two nice seasons with you all, and my best to Harry Hutt, because without Harry, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he shows nice replays for Hubie and for Harry Hutt. This is George Blaha thanking all of you special people for joining us on our simulcast this season. Hope you enjoyed this overtime win for the Pistons over the Celtics on the parquet floor. Good night.